My name is Edward Boyd. I'm a research fellow in the Crime and Justice Unit at Policy Exchange. Our new report, Policing 2020, it takes a view about what we want policing to look like over the next eight years. With so many changes going on to policing uh, right now, it's important that police leaders, the newly elected police and crime commissioners, are looking forward and making their decision on what they change now as the view to what they want policing to look like in the future. We set out a vision for what we think policing wants to look like in the future. We set out proposals to make sure that policing becomes far more about prevention than reaction to crime. We find this is something that chief constables, the public, everyone really wants to see happen. And the way that we see this happen is by creating a new cadre of frontline police officers called crime prevention officers. These officers uh, will be held to account personally for the levels of crime in their police force area. They will be more highly trained and more and um, better equipped than those currently on the front line and they'll be given the discretion to make the right decisions themselves. We also look uh, about how policing is delivered and we argue strongly that uh, policing needs to be delivered locally and there needs to be strong connections between the public and the police. The third thing we look at is what role the public have to play in supporting the police in the fight against crime. We did a poll that showed that two thirds of people would walk on by if they saw a group of teenagers drinking in the street and abusing passers by. And a big part of this is because people don't know what to do in that kind of situation to be able to dial it down and make sure it doesn't get out of hand. That's why we suggest the setting up of something we call citizen police academies, which would have two main roles. Firstly, it'd be about making sure that uh, the public themselves know how to stay safe. And secondly, it'd be about making sure that if people want to intervene, that they know how to, and they have the confidence uh, to do so safely and successfully. It's also important that we encourage people to report more to the police, because we were saying from our research, only about half of crime that we know happens is reported. Finally, we look at the role uh, that uh, the private sector and other independent organisations might play in supporting the police in their mission of fighting crime. We did a poll that showed whilst the public might be against uh, the private sector companies and social enterprises having a role in delivering policing on the front line, they're very happy with the idea that they might do so in the middle and back office, with three quarters saying that they would support those organisations potentially being involved in delivering uh, IT uh, or, or helping with administration functions if it meant more officers were freed for the front line. If you'd like to find out more about our report or our research, uh, please click the link or go to our website www.policyexchange.org.uk.